Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about datum shift. We take two examples. In the first example you have a path with positional tolerance for this slot and there is no maximum material boundary modifier for this datum B. Datum B is nothing but the center hole. So this is regardless of material boundary example. When you have a part like this, after manufacturing, whatever may be the hole size, there will be an expanding mandrel and the part will be held with that expanding mandrel to get the actual meeting envelope. When we get the actual meeting envelope, we derive the datum axis. Based on that datum axis, we check the slot width position. Okay. Similarly, we have positional tolerance for these four holes with B and C datums. B is nothing but the center hole, C is nothing but the slot. These two are also regardless of material boundary condition. So what will happen? Whatever may be the hole size and the slot size, after manufacturing, a expanding mandrel will be used to get the center of this hole, which is nothing but the datum axis and then we put a slip gauges to build the gap and then get the center plane of this slot. In that condition, we check the four hole positions. The same part with maximum material boundary now. If you see here, datum B is having maximum material boundary and here B and C both are having maximum material boundary. If we have like this, then what will happen after manufacturing the gauge will be a fixed gauge with a pin size of 12 mm. How did we arrive at it? 12.1 is the maximum material condition minus the perpendicularity error 0.1 which is 12. So to check the position of this slot, if the part is put into the gauge with a pin size of 12 and if the hole size is more than 12.1 mm, then the part can shift by its axis. Similarly, to check the four hole positions, you have a pin of 12 mm and a, a two parallel plane block of 8.1. How did we arrive at 8.1 is 8.2 minus 0.1. If the slot size is 8.4, then the entire part can rotate along this datum axis in such a way that the high points can touch this pad. At that condition, what is the position of these four holes will be checked. We have another example. In this example, directly we will discuss about maximum material boundary. Here, the outside diameter is taken as datum B and maximum material boundary is given for position of the four holes. So the gauge will have a maximum material boundary. In this case, the maximum material boundary is maximum material condition minus the geometrical tolerance, 40 minus zero. So the gauge diameter will be 40. When the part is produced at its least material condition, that is 39, then it can have a float of one mm. From the center, it can move by 0.5. This 0.5 is called as datum shift. When we put this part into a fixed gauge with four pins and if the part enters with clearance, it is acceptable. That clearance is the datum shift. In this particular example, it is 